Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. I'm Bob, how's it going? Bob and I are here at Pico, a lovely little mountain. Love Pico. Down in the Killington area, often overlooked due to yep. the significance of Killington. Uh, and this is kind of one of the annual on snow industry demo events. I don't know if you could just see all the tents down there. Um, so we're testing a bunch of different stuff today, um, but I thought it was a fun opportunity to revisit this new Anomaly 84 in an on-snow review format. And certainly when we went through the overview, this is the one that I personally had the highest hopes for in terms of kind of attracting a different audience and being a satisfying ski for a large number of skiers. There's something about it that's exciting. Yeah. Like I'm really, I, the Anomaly 88 is super cool. I love that story. I like the progression from the Brahma. The 94 is cool. Yep. Again, like I like the kind of progression from the Bonafide, bringing it narrower, should be a little bit more compliant. Yeah. The 102 is cool, um, purple, free ridey and chargey. But I just, I keep coming back to this Anomaly 84 and I know like you and I have talked about it at length at this point, but our fondness for the mid 80 category, like thinking about Deacon 84, yeah. M Pro 85, there's just so many skis in this eight, mid 80 category that they just don't get much attention. Right, and for no good reason, especially since most skiers are skiing groomed terrain or like slightly more on piste all mountain Right. conditions and terrain right and like we're mostly just skiing a groomer here today we're on our favorite little lift here at pico that just services kind of their race trail which is super fun um but like there's some ungroomed stuff over there yeah. and like that's this is your classic new england day yep is like that's what your ungroomed terrain looks like you guys can't right. see it right now probably but I think we're, we'll, we'll try, try and ski it. We haven't skied it yet. There's <laughs> definitely some grass poking through, but it looks fine. Um, and I just got first run on these and it's just such a cool cool ski. Like we were just talking to our, our Blizzard rep, Adam. Um, and I was, I said something like, you can use every adjective. Right. Cause it's like yep. gri grippy. There's a lot of torsional stiffness. There's energy out of the turn. It's easy to ski. You can like break free from a turn if you need to. And then like the, the thing that I, I think is most impressive is how quiet and damp it is. Yeah, you know, that new construction makes a lot of sense when yeah. you're thinking about how they're kind of layering their metal. Yes. Um, and we've seen a lot of that kind of, you know, interesting technology with horizontal laminates lately, wood and metal. And I yeah. think this is kind of that culmination of those technological progressions. Yeah. And it makes sense. It feels feels right on snow. Totally. No, it, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, like, it's not, there's nothing harsh about it. No. And you could have said the same, something like that about the Brahma 82. You know, that like, whoa, that's a really kind of harsh tail. That there was something harsh yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. No, I so agree. This kind of mutes it a little bit. And I don't think that like, I don't think that many skis and maybe no skis in the mid 80 category need to be harsh. Right. Because if you're, if you're seeking out that harsh feel, generally you're seeking out like a race ski. Right. And we've got Firebirds and Thunderbirds. Yep. Like you can, you can like choose your level of harshness in those narrower skis, leaving stuff like this just, just fun. Yeah. It's just a fun ski. Yep. So. Can I, can I go again? Yeah, I'll follow you down yes. again, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Um, so we'll, we'll lap this lift a few times. Uh, we'll have a few different conversations here. I promise I'll, I'll let Bob ski. Yeah. All right, we're back. I think that run went pretty well. It was like 27 seconds long. I know, but like <laughs> you get your turns worth. You and like, do. I think that that's a really important part of like this ski plus just kind of matching it to the terrain that you're supposed to do, which yeah. I think is a huge benefit. You know what I thought was, was fun with that run? Um, I allowed myself to be somewhat loose yeah. at the top there, where you went through that start gate 
because we're silly and like to do <laughs> silly things. Uh, and kind of noticed that guy on my right. Yep. And I was like, oh shoot, I gotta get ahead of this guy. So kind of just let him run for a little bit. And then like admittedly forgot about that roller and then was in the air for a little bit longer than I would have yep. deemed appropriate <laughs> if I was paying a little bit more attention. And like the ski didn't care at all. No, it looks like you landed very solidly on that left foot outside edge, and then that carried you into the next turn. Yeah. No, yeah, and it's like awesome. kind of like we were talking about with harshness. Like, yeah, there are definitely other skis, and even skis in the 80 range that like that wouldn't have been that fun. Right. Or like doing that on a Brahma would have like yeah. honestly would have like hurt a little bit. Just like the like again like harshness. Yeah. Like, the the like the way that it kind of filters through your body like it, it wouldn't have necessarily been very fun um i'm on the 176 i don't think we mentioned that to start and down here where it gets a little bit flatter i was very happy to be on the 176 yeah because you can still like we weren't going tremendously fast in this kind of second half of the run that i'm looking at right now uh, but the ski still feels like really fun and, and dynamic. It lets you do all the things. Yeah, like any time that we're on skis in kind of flatter, mellower terrain and yeah. they make it more interesting, yeah. then that's a huge plus. Yeah. Because we, like like in reality, we often find ourselves in flatter terrain, right. more mellow stuff. Like right. that's just how it goes if you're skiing at a resort 90 right. to 100% of the time. And again, like not, I mean, not to keep comparing to Brahma's, although I feel like that's perfectly appropriate. Yep. Uh, think about like skiing this same pitch on a Brahma. Right. Like how many turns would feel good? I don't know, but my teeth would be gritting a lot more than right. they do on this ski. Yeah. And you know, I th like that always felt like one of those speed limit skis yeah. where like it had a minimum speed limit that you had to hit before yep. it started to feel good. And this, what if it has that that speeds a lot lower right and again like I, i'm not super heavy i'm like 155 pounds after losing five pounds <laughs> on a trip to utah i don't know how that happened um but i don't need endless stability nor have i found the limit of yeah. this ski. yeah i'm sure it's in there yeah it's just like you, you don't need that you don't need it like how many people need that top five percent of the spectrum and and how often do you need it like if you're like yeah i want to feel that ultimate stability like really what's the amount of time that's spent at that level i can think of one person skiing this mountain today yeah that need that needs that like limitless stability and he's an ex-ski racer and he absolutely rips and he does like borderline questionable things on skis right. like ski center line straight on yeah. the anomaly 102 yeah. <laughs> and everyone gets to have their own fun <laughs> yeah totally um bob do you want a turn yeah i want a turn are we gonna go explore a little bit well i think you should ski this groomer okay for uh consistency of testing yep and then yeah can i twist your arm and get you to ski over there yeah on the other side of those trees yeah yeah it looks really fun it looks like classic vermont skiing yeah, because this is an all-mountain ski, and it should be able to do not just groomer stuff. Yeah, I agree 100%. And, like, you know, just to touch on the other anomalies, like, I spent some time on that 88 lately and really kind of used it in more of an all-mountain format. A true all-mountain yeah, format. Yeah, softer snow, yeah. Um, you know, different turns. Again, so. we got Thunderbirds and Firebirds for carving, yeah. so yeah, these are all-mountain skis. All right, well, we gotta my turn now. Lift. We got to get off the lift. My turn. We'll okay. see you soon. <laughs> that run is short, <laughs> but it tires me out even filming. It's intense. It's a like, pretty good pitch. You know, you start with those top rollers, yeah. which are just like, you know, make your belly drop out. Yeah. And it's really fun to feel like the weightlessness and then the compression. Yeah. And like, and then it just kind of evens out the rest, but really a good pitch to use the full breadth of these skis from a carving perspective don't it's, you think a hundred percent yes because it's like i've i've skied we've skied a number of different skis today i don't actually know if i'm allowed to say which ones yet sure i get confused about embargo dates so we're just going to err on the side of caution um, but i have skied skis today on that upper section that don't hold yeah and it's like a little they're a little nervous where like this 
I mean, I don't want to speak for you, but you didn't look nervous there at all. No, it's amazing how like there's still full confidence. Like they've, yeah. why, again, you know, not, it's not a Brahma 82. This is an Anomaly 84. Like, Correct. It's, it's hard to get it out of your mind, but like you still get that full confidence of the Brahma 82 and with just a better understanding for making shorter turns, tighter turns, variable turn shapes and styles. Yeah. Like that's what this new anomaly really brings into the forefront is that you can really make a whole bunch of different turns uh, without giving up that like supreme GS feel that it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there's still two sheets of metal in here. They right. just dice them up a little bit different. Right. So it's, well, and one of them is just a one full of sheet. A big full sheet. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Ah, oh, plenty of power and stability in that ski for sure. It's definitely, it's like the, you said, 25 seconds, but it's intense. <laughs> it is, like I've been like catching my breath all day yeah. from skiing this pitch. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're great, super fun. Yeah, and like, you know, we kind of talked about some other ones competing like this mid 80s, and you had mentioned some, but like, not all of those have metal, like a Deacon 84 metal, but that's more of different cut up from a front side cloth. Yep. You know, there's not a whole lot that's in this front, in, in this the mid 80s, 80s yeah. all mountain category that has this metal. I almost wish there was more. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fun. Mostly like, <laughs> just based on my experience on these so far. Yeah. It's like, but I think that that's kind of what this mid 80s category was missing is this high octane all mountain ski in this width range. Yeah, and like the Brahma 82, granted it had its merits, I don't know that it achieved what this ski is achieving. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. So, you wanna go ski that stuff over there? Yeah, go ski that stuff. All right, we're gonna go ski that stuff over there. Wish us luck. Hopefully we don't hit anything. Um, if we hit stuff, I apologize in advance to our Blizzard techs that are going to have to fix them. They have tuning equipment. Yeah, no, they'll be fine. They probably own other skis, too. Yep. This is this is a, a tool. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah, wish us luck, and we'll talk to you in a second. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, hold on. Hold on. This, uh, I don't know if we qualify. It doesn't say clips. It says experts only. All right. Are you oh. feeling confident about your ability level right now? I'm feeling fine. I'm, they don't really address like what the filmer's ability level no. needs to be. That's a new level of liability that the science <laughs> needs to cover. Scary, <laughs> scary. I haven't figured that one out yet. All right. All right. Well, have fun. Well, the first thing I'll say about that is it pushed my ability level and comfort level as a follow cam filmer. Well. I also, I tried to take you into account and say, all right, I'm not gonna lead them <laughs> too astray, I don't think. But no, 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 it's fine. That's like my that's like my favorite kind of skiing, I think. Well, and I'm glad that we got to do it. And I feel like that's very representative of at least New England off-piece terrain. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, how did it feel? Felt great. You know, it's like, that's the same thing I noticed about the Anomaly 88s in off-piece stuff. It's like, oh. This is considerably easier to maneuver. Yeah. You know, to let the tails go a little bit. Like that's not the type of stuff that you want your tails catching or digging in. Absolutely on. not. Uh, nor is it the type of stuff that you want instantaneous turn initiation. Right. So just having a little bit more of that rocker and just a slight more free ride shape to the ski really opens that up. And you know, like you said, our East Coast off piste is is pretty funny. And like most of the time it's packed like that. Right. So it's not like you need the 102, for example. Like we don't need flotation there. Nope. You know, we need- Not in that situation. Nope. nope. We need agility and we need some grip because it is, yep. you know, it's you firm need, underneath. Yeah. And like there are sections in there where you wouldn't want your skis just kind of sliding out. Right. Because you would have kind of gone over, over a mini cliff. Yeah. Um, I suppose like surface area is an interesting angle to, to bring up yeah like i was kind of thinking about from a filming perspective like we talk about this a lot following each other with a camera like you almost want your skis to be like as loose as possible i'm pretty sure that's chris that we inspired chris to ski that oh, yeah. um and like 
Sure, I would probably prefer to ski that on a Rustler 10. Yep. Just because the ski is so loose or a Rustler 9. But then like those skis, they're not as rewarding. They're not as fun when you're on trail. Well, that's the And thing. like this little mountain yeah. Pico, like this ski is, is just super fun and super rewarding on trail. Sorry for distracted, just watching <laughs> Chris come down. Um, and then it did that just fine. Yeah. And it's also like taking out the filming part because like who really cares how your skis feel while you're filming somebody else. I think that's a really small group. There goes Chris. Yay. Um, it's like, you know, skiing stuff like that on skis like this, it, it kind of like encourages good skiing technique. Yeah. And I think there's something nice about that. Like the older that I get, the more I focus on like correct upper body posture and where my pole plants are. And if you, as long as you ski like that on a ski like this and terrain like that, you're going to do just fine. Yeah. You do need to remember your technique and have a modicum of focus to yeah. really get the most out of it. But I don't, I don't think that's bad. No. I think and skis that allow for just pure looseness and terrain like that yeah. are like, they can get you in trouble more than a ski like this can get you in trouble. Yeah. I mean, there's obviously going to be a limitation in terms of soft snow performance on an 80, on any 84, much less one with yeah. multiple sheets of metal. But uh, again, these improvements in the shape and the profile at least bring that into more of the forefront of the conversation. Yeah, I agree. So that was fun. Are you going to ski that part now? Should I? Yeah, I think you should. Sure. I'm still nervous about that sign. Sign's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good? Good. All right. match my skiing style as much <laughs> as it matches your skiing style i'm more of that that loose skier but do you see that jump over there i really oh, wanted yeah, to hit that, that but I didn't, there. I didn't know it was on the other side of it yep. so anyways that was super fun i'm pretty tired that sign that serious sign up there yeah i like it when they it's inst accurate install danger into the equation yeah um uh, anyways you can't buy these until next fall but they're cool. Let us know if you have any questions. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a nap.